Really? Yes, really! I'm having too much fun with the soundboard! I can't stop! Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh Alright, here we go. Ladies Ready? and gentlemen, the entire the entire server is broken. <laughs> Correct. Just like my Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Scott Michael. Thank you one, thank you all, welcome to another edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Tonight, one contestant is just 15 questions away from becoming a millionaire. I'm gonna keep it short, I'm gonna keep it simple, the questions may get harder, but I have faith tonight that we could have another big winner. So, as I make my way over to the podium, let's go ahead and meet tonight's first contestant. Mr. Pat Murphy! Yay! Go Pat! We're Hi! Time. Hello, Pat! Hello! Welcome Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire! Uh, I, I feel like I feel like I'm back at home! <laughs> hey! Right. I, I, I was about to say, I feel like we're both a little too short for the screen, but we'll figure that <laughs> out fine. later. It's fine. It's gonna Pat, stall. I'll get a Pat. phone book. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, all, all of us know you here, but for everyone at home, go yeah. ahead and tell them about yourself. So I am Patrick. I am the owner of GSC Studios, where we are currently. It's a lovely Discord server. That's a growing community. Um, I am a trivia host at night, and by day I drive cabs, and I used to host uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in Novalis. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so the former Novalis. Uh, I don't yes. believe I got to be a part of that. However, I have heard good things about it. Nothing but a wonderful now, community. Now, uh, trivia host, bar trivia, I presume? Yes, so I work for a national company called DG Trivia. We have affiliates in over 30 states from California to Hawaii to Oregon. And we support local businesses and we host trivia, standard bar trivia in uh, local bars and restaurants. We never go to chains. We support local businesses all the way. Awesome! That is great to hear. The local businesses definitely are the best ones yeah, to go to. Yeah, and when in my COVID opinion. when COVID hit, it affected so many businesses. Um, I lost a lot of money in terms of income, and so did a lot of other people. But once the pandemic eased up a little bit, we're now thanks to my boss. Like my bosses are now running over forty games a week <laughs> between Reno, Spark, South Lake Tahoe, Carson City, Minden, Fallon, Nevada. So we're just wow, we so many games running a week. That is really awesome to hear. Congrats on that. Thank you. Um, well, I got thank oh. my bosses because they're they're getting the their foot in the door and they're spreading like wildfire. Yeah, I bet considering the big city names you just mentioned there. Yeah, and I'll say Pat. <laughs> hopefully, that bar trivia tonight will lead you to a million dollars. Just as a little refresher, here's how you play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> you're you're going to be asked 15 questions, making your way up the money ladder up to $1 million. If you get stumped along the way, we have three lifelines for you. 50-50, ask the audience, and ask the expert who you did pick out before the show. I did. A and I shall mention, there is... Oh, I guess we're meeting the expert. Equals Peach, are you there? When am I not here? How you doing, guys? <laughs> Peach will be your expert should you need help. He will be waiting in the wings. Now, I should mention as well, Pat, there is a fourth lifeline you will get should you reach the $32,000 mark, but we will bring that up when you hit it. When you hit it. So, Pat, I gotta ask you, are you ready? I am ready to go. Audience, are you ready? Ready! Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Alright, Pat, for $100, here's your first question. What does 
the P.O. in P.O. Box stand for? Pickled olives? <laughs> Pigs only? Putrid odor? Or post office? <laughs> oh my goodness, the first three described the last couple of relationships I've been in. Uh, post, <laughs> post office, final answer. I, I hope I'd hope it'd be post office. He got a hundred dollars. <laughs> Pigs only just sounds like a farmer's uh, edition of something. Yeah, that's yeah. taken off in the last yeah. couple of years <laughs> for two hundred for two hundred dollars. Bet. One quick second. I'm just messaging Prime something. Pigs only. Pigs. That, that's Pigs. Wonderful. A putrid odor box just Goodness sounds like something I want to say as far away from as possible. <laughs> even even pickled olives, because that is something I personally oh, don't enjoy. I, I See, I love olives and a Bloody Mary. Can't <laughs> say I blame me there. Either way, here's a $200 question, Pat. Um, on which continent is South Korea located? South America? Asia? Europe, Africa. <laughs> Why do you have to do this to me already? I'm, I'm sorry. How did that go? <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> And, we, and the best part about it is that we got that on recording. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the GSC soundboard. I'm <laughs> <Yes. laughs> uh, Oh my goodness. I, always, I, know that, I know it's not South America or Africa. And I know for a fact Asia and Europe are so close together. No, it can't be Europe. It can't be. I'm gonna go Asia, final answer. Considering it's over right next to Japan, I would think Asia's yeah. the right answer. You got two hundred dollars. Yeah. Yay. You, you got me worried on that one, not gonna lie. <laughs> Either way, brush that one off. Here's your three hundred dollar question. What <laughs> government price. agency oh here we go. What government agency collects taxes? The uh. CIA? The FDA, the IRS, or the FBI? Oh, could be, it's all four of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, I'm gonna go with IRS, Internal Revenue Service, final answer. You even gave us what it stood for. You got $300 just for the correct answer. And fun fact, FBI was uh, created by J. Edgar Hoover. Yes, a, a very interesting bit of trivia that actually will get you far in trivia games, yes. I must say. <laughs> Either Here's your $500 question, Pat. In what month of the year does a newly elected president assume office? January? February? June? Or November? You see, I'm so glad this is one of those easy political questions. It's the elections take place in November, but the president doesn't take office as it gets sworn in until January. A final answer. Yep, I gotta say, if there's a political question, this would be one I would be happy with. Yes. You got five hundred dollars. Alrighty, you're now going for your first landmark at one thousand dollars. Get this right, you can't walk with any anything less than a thousand. Here is that question. If you roll a 20-sided die, oh, often God. referred to as a d20, what are your chances of rolling a 20? 2%? 5%? 10%? Or 20%? Somebody's been having too much fun with Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. 20% would be 1 in 5. 10% would be 1 in 10. 2% would be 1 in 50. That's 5%. Final answer. Well, I didn't get the 5% on my roll, but you got it right for $1,000. <laughs> <thousand dollars. laughs>
Hey. For first five questions, first five questions down. Feeling pretty good, Pat. Yes, for now. <laughs> for for now, hey. Well, here's a good thing. You still have all three of your lifelines. Questions are gonna get a bit harder, but yeah. just know, can't walk with less than a thousand dollars. So this next question's a free guess. You ready to play? Yes. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? For two thousand dollars. Oh, God. Which of these words is spelled correctly? Oh, God. Embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing? <laughs> or embarrassing? Whoever wrote this question was stuck on Countdown for the last 25 years. <laughs> How good is your spelling, I should ask? Pretty good, but when it comes to... I'm sorry, I'm not... I'm not no F Carol For Forderman. Mm. And now over to Susie Dent. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, I, let's okay. go to Dictionary yeah. Corner. It's time for the letters round! <laughs> I do not get I will any take a, I will take right a P now. Bob. I will take the P Bob. <laughs> Wrong <laughs> shit. <system. laughs> Alright. Uh, um, I, I am my, gonna. I, I, okay, em embarrassing. When it rolls off the tongue, it has an A. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. So it's not B. So they're not B. I will remind you, you still have all three yeah. of your lifelines. I play, I play Scrabble. I played too much Scrabble to, like... Goodness me. This is the $2,000 question. I should not be struggling like this. Yeah, it... Yeah, and this is the one case where we have text on our screen and we can't see the red squiggles beneath it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. If I'm, if I'm remembering it correctly... If I'm remembering it correctly... Embarrassing is E-M-B-A-R-R-A-S-S-I-N-G. That's how I'm visualing it in my mind. A final answer. I don't know, man. I'll see. No, I'm not going to see. That's how you envision it in your mind. It would be embarrassing if I got this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have no yeah. means of you. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> the yeah, timing! Well, yeah, all, all I gotta say, Pat, is you got nothing to be embarrassed about. Yes! Yes! Yeah. 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 For a question like that, seen four different ways, it makes you second guess yourself, God. so. So, I gotta say, that was a good hump to get over and still have all your lifelines in, Pat, so... Here comes your $4,000 question. Which doll was the subject of a 2019 Netflix comedy drama? Russian? Chinese? French? German? The thing is, is I have never in my, ne ever since all the streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, uh, Disney Plus, everything, of all of those streaming services, I have never, ever used one. Really? Not even during the pandemic? Not even. I... How? Well, I just... I'm impressed. I, YouTube. I think the only time I would use a streaming service is when I caught up on, like, The Wall, or uh, Spin the Wheel, or Press Your Luck, or even watch Holy Moly, because the series was just phenomenal. Yeah, that's pretty much me. Oh my goodness. <coughs> who, let who let Charles Ingram in? Hey! 
<laughs> no coughing. <laughs> By the way, it was Techwin who did the coffin, not Charles himself, so... It's a technicality. I will break some kneecaps. <laughs> I didn't even cough after you said an answer. You didn't say an answer. Don't think it was French. Don't think it was German. It's not between Russian and Chinese. We're trying to, trying to visualize where Netflix would go with this. Just a reminder, you still have all three lifelines. And oh. You can get I think I know. I think I have an idea now. Okay. What is your idea? I'm, I'm picturing that doll. That's a doll within a doll. What the heck is the name of that? Is it a babushka? Because I, I if, if it's a, if, if it's the doll that I'm visualizing, the doll that I'm that I'm seeing, it would it would probably be utterly crazy for Netflix to make a killer a killer comedy out of that. Babushka Russian? It's not German. Yeah, it has to be Russian. It can't be French or Chinese. It can't be. No. Oh, I am hating myself for. I should watch more Netflix. Thank you. I should actually get a subscription. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble. Okay. Simply because I feel like that's the doll that they're referring to. I think it's Babushka. Which I think is Russian. So I'm going to say A, final, A Russian. Final answer. I'm going to take a gamble. You went there just because of Babushka. Yeah. It's the doll that's in, that's it's, it's the little doll that's inside it all. Yeah. I, I didn't want to say anything because persuasion host things. I believe you are right with that being the technical term for it. And a Russian nesting doll also just got you four thousand dollars. Oh my yeah! god! Oh my god! Well done. I knew Good that. way to talk that one out, Pat. Okay, on, as a trivia host, I tell my players read the question thoroughly, look over the options, think about it, and I did not did not take my own advice. <laughs> You took yeah. the long way around, but the show is literally just called. It's literally called, yeah. Doll, man. The show is literally just called Russian Doll. I want a Joby answer. I want a Joby answer. Good job, Pat. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty. Listen to my advice. Now. You took so many YouTube turns that you ended up back on course after all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm just like a, a drunk natural. Like, NASCAR driver. Like, 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 you went through your ass to get to your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> as, a gay, as a gay man, I resent that statement. Oh, uh, I agree. I would okay. say. I am not touching that at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, audience, let's quiet down. Pat, you have $4,000. This is going to be for $8,000. This is also going to be to cross the halfway point. Here's to your next question. Yes! How long did World War yes, II... Yes, 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 yes. Wait till I give the answers, Jesus! <laughs> How long did World War II officially last? Four years? Five years? Six years? Seven years? You may now answer. <laughs> okay, John McEnroe, this isn't the chair. This ain't for sure, Pat. Don't be Leela. World War II started in 1939 course with the bombing of Hiroshima and it lasted till 1945. 1945 produced the League of Nations which become the United Nations. So without any hesitation it's C, six years final answer. I 
I'm a World War II guy myself. Like, I, I, I know... I, I love World War II history. It's the only history I like. So, no surprise to me, with how much you jumped out of your socks there, that you got it right and you have $8,000. Yeah. Wait. Keep on fire! I found the way... I found the way of nations was World War I. Nope. You also, I completely misread that. Ris ris read that question. I wasn't like reading it fully. I read World War Two as World War One, so I was thinking in the 1910s, and I'm like, it had to have been shorter than four, ye six years. Yeah, uh, the first World War, I believe, was 1913. I want to say 1917. Yep. Sounds right. I want to say 1914 to 1918. Hey, you All right. know where the first two W's of World War gets it from? Woodrow Wilson. World War uh, Two. World War. I'm sorry. World War One was four years. 1914. To 18. Okay. I was 14 to 18. 18. Okay. okay. Either way, Pat. Either you way. Got you got through that one pretty smoothly. You have eight thousand dollars. Your next step is sixteen thousand dollars. This will put you one step before the next landmark and your fourth lifeline. So let's get through this question first before we worry about the thirty-two. Okay. For sixteen thousand dollars, use your question. How many protons are in a single oxygen atom? Six, seven, eight, nine. Science is not my strong point. I was about to ask how your chemistry was. Science was in. Eh. Not all that great. I really never paid attention to the periodic table. Um, I am gonna use a lifeline for this. Alrighty, you still have all three. So which one are you gonna use? I would like to ask this lovely audience, and I hope they don't lead me astray. Audience, Pat is looking for your help. In the game night chat, please vote A, B, C, or D using your keypads. How many protons are in a single oxygen atom? A6, B7, C8, D9. On your keypads, vote now. Looking at the audience, there was a few that didn't vote possibly for not knowing, but of those who did, it looks like we have 20% saying B and 80% saying C. Okay. Um, with that, I, audience seems very confident. I am going to go with C. Eight, make that my final answer, please. That was my second year. Number of protons for an atom will relate, I believe, if I'm correctly, to the number on the periodic table. Makes sense, yeah. And Pat? There's eight protons in an oxygen yeah. atom. You got $16,000! Yeah. Thank you, audience. Thank you. Audience, you guys came in very clutch That's there. Clutch. Good job. Everyone out there, pat yourselves on the back. You're welcome, even though I said the wrong answer. <laughs> You're welcome, but he was quite the same, not at all. Alright, Pat, we are at a big point in this game. It's a cr it's a pivotal point. Very pivotal point. You have $16,000. Mm. Your next question is $32,000. Get this question right, you cannot walk with less than $32,000. You still have two lifelines. Get it wrong, you drop to 1000 but... Let's get to the benchmark. Yes. Let's get you $32,000 guaranteed. Here is question number 10.
Which creature from Greek mythology had 100 eyes? Ares. Argus. Achilles. Apollo. I also should mention that I don't know if that first one's Ares or Ares, just from the way it's spelled, but... Ares. Ares? Okay. <laughs> So yes, Ares, Argus, Achilles, Apollo. I have an idea. Not to be confused with the astrological sign, which is A-R-I-E-S. Yeah. Ares, the Greek god, is A-R-E-S. The idea that I had in my head before the choices came up is up there. And I'm questioning... It. I'm fairly certain because cool. it's definitely not Achilles it's definitely not Apollo question is are you willing to risk it with no, not even using lifelines the thing is I'm, when, when I'm more than 50, I'm more than 60% sure and I tell my players if you're highly confident whether if you're like 7, 60, 70, or even that 75 percentile, go for it. Don't go against yourself. So I am going to go for it. Alrighty. And I'm going to say B, Argus. Final answer. You said that was in your mind before yeah. the answers even popped up? Oh yeah. Give me, give me that check for sixteen thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, take, take one last look at this check. Uh, bye. It's gone. Did you actually yeah. have something to rip off, rip up for that? <laughs> yes, I, yes, I, yes, I did. Sixteen thousand is not yours anymore. Because I'm giving you this check for thirty-two. Yeah, oh, you are correct. Yeah. Yo, uh, gotta win it. Yes! <laughs> May I say, we're not playing for the amount of the amount of money in that version, but I still like to say we're in a new dimension of millionaire. Because you have a fourth lifeline now. This lifeline is the revive lifeline. Oh! What what this does is that say say you wanted to reuse the ask the audience again. You can use a lifeline that has already been used oh with the revive goodness. lifeline. So perfect. This can come into play as we come oh, into the home stretch oh, oh, oh. of the last five questions. So. Pat, you're playing for $64,000. You can't lose anything here. It is a free guess. Are you ready? I'm ready to go. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here comes question 11. The island nation of Curacao is situated, is, excuse me, is situated off the coast of which South American country? Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname. I've asked you how your science is, we know that. How's your geography? Not all that great. I had an idea, it's not up there. Cat Zelda's meowing at me, cheering me on. <laughs> South American country. Well, do I you have... have? Go ahead. I was gonna say, do you have an idea where Curacao is on the map? I 
I can eliminate two. Mm -hmm. I can eliminate yep. Guiana and Suriname. Because I initially thought it was Brazil. You still have the two lifelines, plus ask the audience if you want to revive it. I will remind you, they the it's, producers it's don't random, control yeah. it. Yes, it is computer controlled. So, if if that makes you feel better about it, I want to save the revive it. simply because I know that if I burn all three lifelines, I can revive one of them, and at a mm -hmm. at possibly a crucial moment that I need it. So let's use the 50-50, please. Alrighty, like I said, computer. Please eliminate two of the wrong answers, leaving the correct answer and the last wrong answer. Venezuela and Suriname. Okay. I eliminated Guiana and Suriname right out the gate simply because I don't think um, they have a coastline on a major ocean. I feel like they're too inland. And I... Th <sighs> Down between Colombia and Venezuela. Let's go for it. Venezuela B, final answer. Now you said you eliminated Guiana and Suriname. Yeah, right simply, away. simply because I feel like they're too inland and they don't share a coastal border with any major oceans. Curacao is an island nation, so it's more than likely sitting on a major sea or in a major ocean. I will say now that I can that Suriname borders the Caribbean. Oh. But Curacao is more off the coast of Venezuela, so you got $64,000. Good job! Both Curacao and Venezuela are on the Caribbean. Venezuela is closer to Curacao, so it's more off the coast of there, so... Oh my god. That was a scary one, might I say. That was a very good use of the... That was a very good use of the 50-50. Pat, this next question... Is worth a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Every time, every time I'm a contestant, I <laughs> always get so close, and I have yet to win the million. Hey, let's make tonight the night. I want to do it. I want to do it. Let's take it one question at a time. Don't don't look at the million. Just focus on the next one. One hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. If you're correct. If you're wrong, we drop $32,000. You have your Ask the Expert who is still waiting behind me. And you still have the revive should you want to revive either the 50-50 or Ask the Audience. I've rambled on enough. Here comes question 12 out of a possible 15. Which of these 90s comedians... Or... Which of these 90s comedies, excuse me, was directed by a woman? Wayne's World. Forrest Gump. Dumb and Dumber. Groundhog Day. I've asked about your geography, I've asked about your science. How is your film? I think I know this one. You do? I think I do. Alright. Just let me just Yep, take, just, take, take just your calm time. myself. <laughs> <laughs> because I can get excited and then I've seen people get excited, jump the gun, and they end up screwing themselves over. I know 
for a fact it's not Dem and Dumber. Because we had a question in trivia, I want to say two weeks ago, about a film that was not directed by the Farrelly brothers, and I know Dumb and Dumber was one of the options, and that was a film that one of them directed. It's definitely not Forrest Gump. somebody major, but I don't think it was a female. It had, to, I feel like Groundhog Day, because it has, Groundhog Day has Bill Murray in it. And I feel like when, out of all the films Bill Murray has been in, all the films has been directed by a male. Like Ghostbusters. Um, of course, uh, what's another that other one? Caddyshack? Is he in Caddyshack? Off the top of my head, I am not yeah. sure. I feel like it's Wayne's World. Dana Carvey. Mike Myers. Oh god, what other major people were in that movie? It's been so long. Devin Dumber was Jeff Bridges and Jim Carrey. Forrest Gump was Tom Hanks. I just, I have this sneaky suspicion. I have this sneaky suspicion it's Wayne's World. And I, I, I've always watched people not trust their gut, they ended up being right. They ended up burning through lifelines. And I'm gonna trust my gut. I'm gonna say A, Wayne's World. Is that your final answer? Final. You knew to knock out Dumb and Dumber first. Yes, yeah. that was one of the one of the Fairley brothers, Peter Fairley, to be more specific. Okay. Forrest Gump was Robert Zemix, so okay. you were right to eliminate that one, and you were going between Groundhog Day and Wayne's World. Yeah, I kind of I eliminated Gra Groundhog Day simply because I don't think Bill Murray would be comfortable with the female director. All I got to say is that you better watch back Wayne's World because oh it just God. netted you one hundred and twenty-five thousand yeah. dollars. Oh man! Wayne's World. Alrighty, <laughs> just had to wait for the applause. Uh. Wayne's World was directed by uh, Penelope Spheris, if I'm Ground, reading my card who is right. Groundhog Day, because that's bugging me. Ground, <laughs> Harold Ramis. Harold Ramis, yes, that, yes! was Groundhog. Because they both worked on Ghostbusters together. Yep. Yes. Exactly. Alrighty. Either way, you got $125,000, Pat. Oh! Uh, that is yours, should you want to walk away. Like I said, keep focusing just one question at a time. Next up, we're looking to double to $250,000. You still have your expert and you still have you still have your revive. Are you ready, Pat? Yes. 
Here comes question 13. Which of the following is not a characteristic of the original Barbie doll? Gold earrings. White irises. Arched eyebrows. Pink lipstick. Of all the questions I've asked, this feels most <laughs> like a bar a bar trivia kind of question. Believe it or not, we have never in the five plus years I have hosted for D- five over five years of DJ trivia, I have never encountered a Barbie question. Really? Yes. I only Do know you- I only know specific things about Barbie. She was invented in 1959. She did have a degree, and the doll was named after Mattel's daughter. Okay. Do you know anything about the characteristics of a Barbie doll, though? I can, I can picture a Barbie doll. But I can't... Picture the original. Don't think my expert is going to help. So, with that being said, I would like to use my revive. Okay, which lifeline are you reviving? I would like to revive the 50-50, please. He is reviving his... Uh Uh-oh. That was... I pressed the button for the sound effect. (laughs) I was using the switch the question. (laughs) Oops. I pressed the button. It's okay. It's okay. You know why? Because I'm going to bring the question back up. It lit up gold earrings, right? Yeah. Well, fuck the gold earrings. Nope, that's the wrong button. (laughs) (laughs) What is happening? Oh my god. It's C and D. (laughs) Shut up. Improvement. Apparently, our production crew has had a little too much to drink today. Um, It's totally full. Okay, so guy can can, we can confirm it's between C and D? Yes. Okay, Brayden D's or producer back there. It is between arched eyebrows and pink lipstick. Even though gold earrings lit up. Correct. Gold earrings had nothing to do with it. Got it. So, does that help you at all? Not necessarily. I feel like arched eyebrows has been a thing for Barbie. I feel like it's been... (sighs) Oh my goodness. I'm gonna... This is gonna be stupid, but I'm gonna go for it. Alrighty. This is gonna be stupid, but I'm gonna go for it. Because I feel like... Arch eyebrows has been a part of Barbie for for years. So I'm gonna go for D pink lipstick. Final answer. Yes. Pat, uh, I'm gonna do this again to you. Uh, hand me that. Hand me the hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Take it out of my hands, please. Take it out of my hands. Rip it into a million pieces. <laughs> Here he fucking goes again. 
under twenty five thousand yeah. dollars. If I could light, if I, I could am. light a fire indoors, I would. <laughs> I am throwing caution oh. to the wind. I have two checks in my hand. <laughs> Give me the two. I'm gonna, hand, the two I, I, I'm gonna hand you this one. Don't look at it yet. All I'm gonna say is, computer, reveal the right answer. Please, please, please. please. Yes, it's a quarter yes! million dollar check. That was, oh, I must say, a gutsy move. Pat. Oh, Pat. Her lipstick, her lipstick was red. Oh, my God. It's just the slight shade. I thought it was the eyes, the iris, for some reason. No, she was white irises, Guys. white irises, gold earrings. The gold earrings I did get and the arch eyebrows. I'm like, oh my god, Pat, please, please say. Guys, please I've say been in this position so many times before. Hey, Pat, look at it this way. Uh, I know at the, I know at this stage, with this amount of money, so it's much. hard to it's hard to calm your nerves. I, I have to, to ask I, I will ask, yes. One question at a time like you've been doing. You've been trucking through this. You still have your ass the expert. I am hoping, what I'm really hoping that is, for is that this $500,000 question is a board game question or a game show question, and the million is a sports question that people know. <laughs> hey, either, either if way. If only. I was just hoping for the sports question, but yeah, that, <laughs> what you described just, what you described works too. That would be the perfect I will, scenario. I will say this, knowing Peach for the last a little over a year I've known him, I won't doubt you for going to him for a sports question. But, all we can do is hope one comes up. Yes, yes. Bring the sports question! You have, <laughs> you have that quarter million dollar check in your hand. That is yours should you want to walk away with it. However, I'm sure you would like this check I have in my hand even more for $500,000. Yes. This will be the third time winning a half a million. We're, lo we're looking to double again, Pat. And all I can say is good luck. Thank you. You still have your expert. Here comes question number 14. Ask and you shall receive. Please. Please let it be something I know. Which late MLB player's body was sent to a cryonics laboratory? Ty Cobb. <coughs> Mickey Mantle. Honus Wagner, Ted Williams. You asked for a sports question, there it is. It is a very specific sports question. Do you know anything about this? I'm trying to think of what would make the most sense. But sadly, None are jumping out to me. So, I know Peach is big on his baseball. And he follows it like the wind. And he just left. Oh, no. And Peach just yeeted! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Give him, give him, give him no. a second. He, he will probably be right back. I am okay, going I'm... to gracefully ask my expert. Alrighty. I'm grabbing him right now, Peach! He's using Ask the Expert. Are you still here with us? I accidentally uh, my computer now. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> well. But here I am. Okay. Here I am. 
Yep, but we can still he we can still hear ya. I'm mistaken, which means I'm I'm actually out of virtual paradise, but I can see the live stream now, so I guess it doesn't matter that much now, does it? No, that is that is fine. We are over the web, so this either way works. Okay. You, talk, you can talk it over with Pat as much as you'd like. Again, I'll ask you the question: Which MLB, which late MLB player's body was sent to a cryonics <coughs> laboratory? Ty Cobb, Mickey Mantle, Monus Wagner, or Ted Williams? Ted Williams. <laughs> Are you absolutely confident? Two hundred percent, Ted Williams. My my oh, man. man. My man, <laughs> Ted Williams. Mark, I am. I. I. Th th if there is one thing you do not doubt, is somebody's confidence. D. Ted Williams. Final answer. Yes, back dude. Two hundred percent. Pete, you're two hundred percent confident, right? Absolutely. Come on. If it's not Ted Williams, then my name isn't Equals Peach. <laughs> and I am not a Kraken fan. Well, I mean, realistically, your name isn't Equals Peach, and I know your real name. Oh. <laughs> no, it's Equals Peach. Or, I mean, I say that on YouTube. Oh, but... <laughs> yeah. I don't, bl I don't blame you. Uh, well, all I can say is one thing. I am 200% confident. That we're playing for a million yeah. dollars is Ted Williams. You know, Pat, I'll give you the honors. Rip up that quarter million dollar check. Yes. That reminds me of a real one. All right. Ooh. Soak, soak this in, Pat. This is a lot going on right now. Five hundred thousand dollars. Here is that check for you. Right how back. are you feel? How are you feeling right now? You got the crowd behind oh. you. You got a half million dollar check. Hmm. The thing oh, is, I tell you what, I'm going back to the millionaire world because I need to see this. The thing is, I, my computer. Enjoy, I have been I have here. Been here I have been here twice before. Everyone, call your friends. Get your get your people on here. We're playing. <laughs> Well, Pat, Dollars. Well, Pat, it's as we say, good times for sure. No, okay, I've been I've minutes. been in this position there. twice before. Both times I didn't win the million. It's third time lucky. I will say this. Third time man. lucky. I will say this. He walked behind me. I'm looking at him right now. Peach. All I can say is, if there was ever a time to come in clutch, that was the time. Half a million dollars goes to Pat thanks to you. Can you explain the Ted Williams story? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I know, like, I have an idea about the Ted Williams story. I mean, I know it was Ted Williams, but I think he, I think, like, either him, or he or his children were, like, coaxed into signing an agreement that would, that would put his body in cryostasis after his death. Uh... His children, his children did. Yes. Frozen, like, little, oh my God. little interesting facts you learn here. On who, who, else, uh, who else do you know who, whose body was was sent to cryonic study? Walt Disney, allegedly. This, may, this makes me want to see super billionaire happen. Oh god! However, right. oh, man. if there was right, right, time to make super millionaire happen, let's all right, audience. Let's quiet. People down. need money, man. There is one more uh, task was you at up. hand. Pat, you said you've been here before. Twice I am hoping. Before. I am hoping for everything holy. Third time is the charm. Third time's the charm, man. Come on. You have five hundred. You have a five hundred thousand dollar check that is yours to walk away with. Should you want to walk away? If you get the next question wrong, you are gonna lose four hundred and sixty-eight thousand dollars. However, get this next question right. I have this check here for one million dollars and it will be the second time tonight we've made millionaires so pat i'm gonna ask you first are you ready i'm ready to go sorry it crashed audience, again so i'm on my laptop audience one more time before we silence y'all 
Are you guys ready? Yes, it's just a yes. bump my soul by the time this is over. For one million dollars and one final time tonight, I will say, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. As we darken the entire studio, Pat, spotlight is only on you. This is question 15 out of 15 for one million dollars. Here is the question. Palatine Hill is one of the major hills surrounding which city? Rome. Athens. Madrid. Eucharist. Sort of a geography history question combined into one. I'll ask because you don't have any lifelines remaining, and either way, nothing can persuade you. Did an answer jump out at you? I gotta sit, ask. Well, too dead. Too dead. Which ones, may I ask? Athens and Rome. Simply because I feel like it has to. It has to go back to mythology. And if I'm reading the question correctly, Major Hills, Rome was built on seven hills. Seven hills of Rome. Uh, and I feel like that's what it's what? referring to. Yeah. I'll ask for si silence in the audience, because I did hear one thing, so... Do you feel confident enough in it to go for it? Is my major question. Just, just want to make sure I'm not talking myself into this. Just want to make sure I'm not jumping the gun. Would you like me to reread the question? Um, no. Valentine Hill is one of the major hills surrounding the city. And I'm reading it correctly. I'm hearing myself read it correctly. Rome was built on seven hills. That's what my mind is going to. So, I'm going to go for it. All right. I am going to say A, Rome. Pat, and make that my Pat. final answer. Always. Come on, let's make it happen. Uh, I'm going to ask you one more time. Hand me the $500,000 check. Oh, oh my god. $500,000 is gone just like that. I want to hear it again. Why did you go with Rome? Simply because Rome was built on seven hills. And I feel like reading the question, one of the major hills. And that's where my mind is going to. Yeah. Hey, I get that mythology. Rome was built on seven hills. Uh, also, all roads lead to Rome. I, yeah. under I understand that. Patrick Murphy. What have I done? <laughs> you have Hold just 
Become a millionaire! Yes! You did it! Yes! 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 Well done. Way to go, Cat! Way to go! Way to go! Let's go! Way to go! I got to witness history! What? Woo! Patrick, look around you! Confetti's raining! Ooh. Everyone in Discord is you on! And yes! Hold on. Pat, Pat, oh, uh, here, just join me up, join me upstage here a little bit. Where's the boat going? Oh, no, no. Jo join oh, me upstage. The Titanic's here. Join me upstage here, and I will say yes, Pat. You were 100% spot on. Palatine Hill is one of the seven hills Rome was built on. You were absolutely correct to go with that. Pat, third time was the charm indeed, as I am now handing you this check. Finally, you can take it for one million dollars. Congratulations. How do you feel right now? Well, for starters, I'm a, I'm a crying mess. <laughs> Christ, oh. man. Yeah. I, I... Yeah. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm utterly speechless. I have got to say, Pat, uh, I have hosted only a few episodes of Millionaire, and I gotta say, of all of the people that have played this game, you are by far one of the gutsiest players to ever play this game, and it's gotten you this far to a million. I have to say, though, it has to, it simply has to, you have to follow your instinct. And especially when you're booting through lifelines, you're, you're always second-guessing yourself. People never take their time. And you have to under make sure you're reading the question thoroughly to know what it's asking. And yes, I'm so 100%. glad, so glad with that with that Rome question. That's what I did. Yeah, you read it, you understood it, and it got you a million dollars. You read through a bunch of other questions you didn't even know, and you just used logic to base it off of, which is the best thing to do in this case. And Pat, you can finally say, I did. You have climbed the tower. You did it. I did. You are a millionaire. Oh my god. Pat, all I'm gonna oh. say is enjoy enjoy that. Yes, oh. I hear you. Yes, I hear you, Clax on shut up. We're enjoying the moment. But yes, you can see from us turning red and the the horn going off. That means our producers don't want to try to give away another million dollars. That means time is up for tonight. They don't want to lose more money. <laughs> this has been Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I am your host, Scott Michaels. For me, for Brayden, for everyone in the back, even for our brand new millionaire, Patrick Murphy, we are saying so long, and we'll see you next time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It finally happened. Oh, I have a question. Yes. But hold on one second. Someone please oh. move the Titanic out of the building, please. <laughs> Whoa, wow. All right. I got one. Yeah. I, I, I need to do. Let's put the Titanic against the Bullhorn. I need. I need to do one more thing real quick. <laughs>